warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk about addition and multiplication of two vectors. So let's say you have this uh, two-dimensional vector, vector A, and another vector, which is also two-dimensional, which is vector B. Then uh, A plus B can be uh, obtained by um, adding the components separately so a1 with b1 and then uh, b2 with a2 so it is given by this formula here so similarly if you have a three-dimensional vectors the same uh, pattern uh, the same idea will follow so you will add the components accordingly so this is the first component uh, of vector a so you add up with the first component of vector b um, the second component of vector A with the second component of vector B and finally uh, the third component of vector A with the third component of vector B so this is uh, given by this formula so um, what if you have um, a subtraction process for example you have vector A minus vector B so in this case uh, if you have vector A minus vector b this is the same as having vector a plus um, negative of vector b so uh, because of that then um, this will become uh, a1 a2 a3 plus so here you will have negative b1 negative b2 negative b3 so it is the same process when you want to add up two vectors you will just follow the same process which is given in this uh, purple box here next uh, let's talk about the multiplication of a vector by a scalar so if c is a, is a scalar so c is a scalar and a is a two-dimensional vector then uh, if you have um, the multiplication of a scalar with a vector it is defined as such so you can just multiply the component accordingly so this is the first component of vector a you multiply that with the scalar c and this is the second component of vector a you can multiply that accordingly so if you have a three-dimensional vectors you have you will have the same pattern um, you just have additional component here for a3 so you multiply a3 with the uh, scalar given here so um, next we will look at what happens when uh, this vector is multiplied by a scalar where uh, c is greater than 0 so when c is greater than 0 the result will be you will have a different magnitude so you will have a different magnitude uh, and you will also have uh, the same direction okay you will have the different magnitude because it is multiplied with a uh, some number so a uh, ca is not the same as a and if c our scalar here is uh, less than zero then also you will have a different magnitude uh, but because it is now a negative value then you will have a different direction um, which uh, to be precise is you will have an opposite direction okay so you have opposite direction okay next Okay, let's talk about uh, example 9.4. This is just a simple example to um, illustrate the idea of uh, vector addition and multiplication. Okay, so here we have a three-dimensional vector, vector A, and B is also a three-dimensional vector. So we're going to start off with finding um, the magnitude of A. So we're going to start off with finding the magnitude of A. So the magnitude of A, you have seen this uh, in the previous video. This is just equal to taking the square root of 4 squared plus 0 squared plus 3 squared 
and this is um, 16 plus 0 plus 9 this is equal to square root of 25 and this becomes a uh, 5 unit okay next um a plus b okay let's talk about a plus b vector a plus b so vector a plus b so vector a plus b will be uh, can be found by adding the components accordingly so the first component with the first component so 4 plus negative 2 will be equal to 2 next 0 plus 1 is 1 3 plus 5 is going to be 8 so that is the result for this one for a plus b uh, next uh, let's look at uh, a minus b so vector a minus vector b this is equal to having um, 4 0 3 the first vector is vector a plus um, the negative of vector b so that will be positive 2 negative 1 negative 5 and then you can just add up the components accordingly 4 plus 2 will be equal to 6 0 negative 1 is negative 1 3 plus negative 5 is uh, negative 2 <coughs> excuse me okay next um, let's find the answer for um, multiplication of scalar with vector so we have here vector 3 multiplied with vector b so we have 3 outside and vector b is negative 2 1 and 5 so the answer is going to be uh, this is very straightforward very easy negative 6 3 and 15 okay and then finally we have um, some multiplication process and also um, addition process combined together so now let's talk about vector uh, 2a plus 5b so this is equal to um, 4 0 and 3 plus 5 and vector b is negative 2 1 and 5 so we can just simplify that to be 8 0 and 6 plus negative 10 5 and 25 so uh, next 8 negative 10 will be negative 2 0 plus 5 is 5 6 plus 25 is 31 okay so now we are done with a um, ex simple example mm, now let's look at um, some properties of vectors so if a b and c they are all vectors and c and d are scalars then um, we have the then we have the following properties here um, so basically um, the first one is you can switch the place so you have addition process so a plus b will be equal to b plus a so this is uh, um, commutative and then uh, next when you have a plus in the bracket b plus c you can actually switch the position of the bracket and this is actually being associative next uh, if you have uh, vector 0 so a plus vector 0 you will get uh, the answer uh, a itself so it doesn't change and uh, next if you have a plus um, negative a so the result will be a vector so this is a vector 0 is a vector here because a vector because a is a vector negative a is a vector the result will be a vector so it is not a number it is not just simple simple number 0 but it is a vector which uh, can be represented as 0 0 and 0 okay um next um if you have scalar c so c a plus b so that can be uh, equal to c a plus c b so this is being um distributive okay so this is a, a 
an example of distributive property next this is also a uh, distributive property you have c plus d these two are scalars and you can um, um, separate them you can evaluate them accordingly by first distributing c to a and then d to a next uh, you have um, uh, this property c d a is equal to c and d a so this is being um, um, associative okay so this is associative and then if you multiply the vector with one so this is a scalar so you will get back the same vector which is vector a okay right um so i think i'll just stop here uh i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching